We are now at Kilimanjaro Airport. Say hi. We're saying bye to Billy, unfortunately. Uh, we're heading now to, to Zanzibar. So we're at the airport saying goodbye to the mainland and heading to Zanzibar. He's gonna come in with us. It's not goodbye yet. So this is Kilimanjaro Airport. Very exciting. It's an hour flight into Zanzibar and we're gonna spend a few days in Zanzibar, so that is the plan. We're now boarding! Woo! 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 <laughs> we waited a long time, but we had Wi-Fi, so it's all good. <laughs> so there's our flight. Woohoo! Precision air. <laughs> it will precisely land us in Zanzibar. So, yes, it's about an hour flight. So, yeah, what's happening? Goodbye, Kilimanjaro Airport. completely in the plane. I just slept the entire ride and now we've got picked up by our new new dude. Where's the new dude? I don't know his name, I forgot. Anyways, we're heading to the hotel now. Everyone's still staring at me because they think it's weird that I'm vlogging but you know. <laughs> Vehicles like on top, we have a mini vehicle where we will put all our luggage mm. and we come in here in a bus. Okay. okay. Yes. It's a free tour. Okay. Small town tour. Do you guys you know that you have that? Yes. <laughs> yes. So this is our room. Yes. Oh my God! It's like luxury. Like how beautiful is this? It's not just because we've been sleeping in a tent for like the past week, but it's just so nice. This is very, very impressive. And we've, they've got these nice chairs. Beautiful. Okay, even the bathroom's kind of cute. All right, we have showered, freshened up, feeling good. And now we're doing a tour of Stonetown, which is where we are right now. This is in Zanzibar. It's a pretty cool place. I was so impressed. So apparently that house is where Freddie Mercury was born. RMJ. I don't even really know much about Freddie Mercury, but cool. That's where he was born and it's called the Freddie Mercury house. So that was the main road. Now, I don't know where we're walking, but it's fun. And uh, it's really cute here, actually. It seems very historical. Ooh. So, I guess this is where we're having lunch. Yes. And look, there's the water. <gasps> Banana and something else, I can't remember. Avocado. Mango avocado. Woo, it is a hot. Day. We have finished lunch and now we're walking at the beach area. Um, I don't believe this is where people swim because there's all these boats here and no one is swimming. So as much as I want to jump in the water, I will not do that. This is our hotel area. So we're going on the tour now. It's 
so hot I had to change. I couldn't wear, I couldn't have anything on my shoulders. It's so freaking hot. This market was the last slave market to close in the world. So, the official slave market, this was the last one to remain open until it closed, I think, in 1870 something. Anyways, so now we're gonna go in. Alright, first stop is going to be the slave chambers. <laughs> Wow. This is where they kept them? Yeah. This is not creepy at all. Oh. This is so creepy. It's getting close. 15 years alongside in this part. Most of them they were demolished when the market was closed in 1873. And they paved their way for a building which we see here, which was the first Zanzibar dispenser, which was built in 1877. finished at the museum and now we're about to head to the beach for the night market I think and then I think we get some free time For a cheeky drink. So should we just re-discuss what just happened? <laughs> so Mateo is the only guy in this group right now and some guy just came up to him and was like, you're very rich. <laughs> and then we're all like, what the fuck is he saying? And he's like, you're very rich. It's like, you're with all these women. And then he asked how many cows because people here, when they get married, the guy has to like give cows to the female family, I think, right? I got a caperinha. That's Maria. That's Maria. All right, we're now at some curry house because I'm having curry again. I didn't have any power to make any more decisions, so I thought, okay, good curry, good plant. That looks like our food. We've been waiting for a very long time for our food. I think I'm dying away. It's like 
10 to 9 and I've been kind of hungry since like 6 p.m. So, yeah.